What's up my friends, welcome back! As you know, we finished the Badass Tank video series. I think it's now time to start a new awesome radio control tutorial series. For those who didn't saw the Badass Tank videos, there is a link in the description for all those videos. Please check that if you want to build a Tiger 1 real replica tank like this one. So if we want a bigger army, we will need something more than just a tank. How about a plane? We will see how to build this awesome radio control 3D replica of a Spitfire plane. Once again this project requires a 3D printer, but don't worry. If you don't own a 3D printer, there are a lot of ways to build a simple plane body out of wood, foam, cardboard or simply buy a nice cheap plane body from the internet and build your plane following the same steps as here but without the 3D printing part. So as before we are going to build the radio controller, the plane body and all the electronic circuits inside the plane. We will see how a radio controlled plane works and which are the basic parts of an RC plane. I will share all the STL files for free on my webpage and you could download them and print your own plane. Ok, I will now make a simple resume of the steps that we are going to follow. So we have our plane on one side and the radio controller on the other. In the same way as in the badass tank videos, we want to put an Arduino inside of an old controller and read the analog values of at least 4 potentiometers. Those values are our throttle, yaw, pitch and roll. Using again the NRF24 module, we will send those values to another Arduino that will be inside of the plane. That Arduino using PPM communication will send the received data to another Arduino that will control a powerful brushless motor for the propellers and 4 servo motors for each of the 4 controls of the plane. To have a stable flight, we will use a small gyro and acceleration module. Detecting the angle and the acceleration of the plane, we can adjust the flight with our 4 controls mentioned before. To process all the data, we will use a platform named MultiWii. This is a very powerful radio control platform able to adapt for helicopters, drones or planes. That's all for the introduction of this tutorial series. Please follow all the videos step by step in order to build your own plane. Always check the description of the videos and my webpage for more help and information. Because the radio controller works the same as the one used in the badass videos, the first video of this series will be quite short. I will just show you how to upgrade your controller from a basic woodcase one to this nice and good looking radio controller that I've made from an old helicopter controller. Thanks again and see you in the next video where I will start the construction of this awesome radio control Spitfire plane.